what's happening. Big Dama the Spook, the Ross Retainer. Back one more again. Just left the gym. The Ross Retainer. I had to get that in there, man. But, um, like, for real, though, like, hey, man, on this journey of semen retention, rise your standards, man. Everything elevates. You know how you elevating yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually? Man, your standards need to rise. You need to, you need to change what you look for in a woman. Even what you look for as far as having people you deal with just in your immediate circle because the people that you surround yourself with, that energy is gonna rub off on you. So if you surround yourself with people that's, you know, that's dicking around and, you know, basically just wasting time and they lazy, they, they procrastinating and, you know, they not sure of themselves, they don't bet on themselves and they just depended on somebody else to get them to motivate themselves and they depended on you to, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 do everything while they just sit back and they don't, they don't want to do nothing, they don't want to do their part, they don't want to play their role. Hey, man, separate yourself, dog. You don't want to waste your time with people that just ain't going nowhere in life, still, still on the same thing. Because, look, you wait on them to realize their potential and realize their power that they got, and you don't know how long that's going to take. You gotta assume, especially when they grown, you gotta assume that they gonna be stuck in their ways forever. You know what I mean? It takes a person with a strong mind and wanna change. Cause you can't change the you can't change you can you can change the world, but you gotta change the world by changing yourself first. And you gotta lead by example. Then you spark the change just by you doing it, like people seeing you do it, like action wise, you start inspiring others to do what you doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a prime example. I got people at my job wanting to work out, working out with me and shit, and just working out at the career. They come up to me and say, man, you, you inspired me to start doing push-ups and da-da-da-da. Even though it don't last for long, because inspiration only take you so far. Like, yeah, you, you inspired and stuff, but is you going to keep at it? Because, man, this journey is about consistency, man. It's a journey, not a destination. So you think that you're going to do it for one day and see results. You not it's it don't work like that you got to stay at it you got to stick with the script because god know if you faking or not god know if you're gonna stick with it. It, it it starts with your heart man you got the heart to do this on the days that you don't feel like doing nothing especially now it's cold outside bro it's cold it's 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 34 degrees outside right now you know what i mean i'm layered up right now it was just it was just snowing my car I had to knock off and the one thing I like about being alone right now To myself I ain't got no distractions I ain't got nobody nagging me Trying to see where I'm at Or just creating problems out of nowhere or, You know, just stupid stuff You know, just retarded stuff and stuff Just just to slow me down from uh, uh, Knock me off and, 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 you know, get me focused on what they focusing on What they stressing about Stress kills slowly So I ain't I'm trying to stay in the flow state Relax state, you know what I mean? And on uh, on semen retention, man, you naturally become a high a high value man because for one, majority men are not doing this. Majority men are not doing this. Let's just face the facts, man. Majority men are not going to practice semen retention, even if they know about it. They gon they gonna make an excuse because everybody got excuses on why they not gonna do nothing. And it's it's like a it's a, it's a program that you gotta break in order to do this journey and it's hard to break this um it's hard to break that program of being overindulging and eating sex lust and you know just all that it's hard to break that it's very hard you gotta have a, a tremendous amount of discipline and you gotta bet on yourself and you gotta have a lot of faith a lot of motherfuckers just don't believe in themselves man in order in order to do this journey a lot of people really feel like they that damn weak but i promise you bro when you get on this journey and you start feeling that energy you know what I'm saying? And you feel that energy like, and you learning how to transmute and live with it. And you feel your real self. You going back to your default self before you was a depleted person that just thought with his lower nature, thought with the wrong head, the little head instead of the big head. You not gonna wanna go back. You not going, you not going to go back. I'm gonna let you know that now. Once you get on this journey and you feel that energy, you not going back, bro. You just not, bro. You not. I don't, I don't give a damn who you is. You is not gonna go back, bro. When you feel your power, 
you gonna be like, man, what the fuck? So this is what I was missing out on. And you know, and I and I done said this, I done said this a lot of times, like numerous of times, man. I'm not in the convincing game. Like, I'm not finna convince somebody that's already making excuses on why they don't want to do this journey, man. I'm not in the convincing game, especially a grown motherfucker, a grown man. Like, I'm not finna convince you to do this journey. If you don't want to do it, if you want to keep on lusting and, and having meaningless sex with these women that don't care about you, don't love you, ain't gonna write you if you get locked up, ain't gonna come see you if you motherfucking fucked up in the hospital, ain't gonna, uh, you know what I'm saying, really take your journey seriously, ain't gonna goddamn see you in a cemetery, ain't gonna come visit you at all, you know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna, ain't gonna really be a rider for you, man. Then by all means, do your thing, bro. Do your thing. Me personally, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that shit. That, that phase of my life is done as far as having meaningless sex and, you know, just uh, lusting over low hanging fruit, um, fucking with wheat, man. I was, I was real desperate to get my dick wet before I got on this journey, man. I was always thinking with the wrong head any girl that walked past me with a fat old ass i had to hop on it she didn't have to have a fat ass she she could have something that was attractive on her it could be a pretty ass face with some with a, with a decent uh size t decent size titties and I'm, I'm on her ass if i seen that we was attracted to each other i'm on that ass like just stupid shit bro not even thinking what kind of spirit she what kind of demon she got attached to her what kind of what kind of trauma she built over the years because everyone everybody has trauma so you I was just going in blindly. Even and, and then another thing, I was so goddamn desperate for cheeks and desperate to have sex with women. Man, they would tell me they red flags off the out the gate. All the writing was on the wall. Guess what? I'm still like, man, I'm still I'm finna dick her ass down. I'm trying to fuck. Retarded ass nigga. Shawty ass could have gave me some shit that I couldn't get rid of as far as diseases. Motherfuckers act like COVID just went out, know, uh, went out the way. Motherfuckers act like sexually transmitted diseases just disappeared. And it's like the culture that's being pushed right now as far as overindulging sex. You got women that's bisexual, motherfucking just want to smoke and get high all goddamn day. You know, just... They, they ain't taking shit seriously, man. They ain't got no sense of direction. They wasn't raised right. And then they raise themselves and let the streets raise them or let, let some women that they idolizing because they successful in their life, not knowing that them women had to do some shit that they ain't, that they shameful of to get where they at. Or maybe they just got the connections and they thinking that, oh man, I can make it if she made it. Talking about this, then all I got to do is talk about what she talking about and vice versa. Niggas be doing the same shit, not knowing that these niggas be connected to some motherfucker that's already in the industry. You know what I mean? Them motherfuckers already had a hand out type shit. They just make it, they just make it, you know, look fly. For, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers ain't woke. A lot of motherfuckers ain't conscious and aware enough to know that, man, this shit is like everything is rigged. Everything is is set up for that motherfucker to win already. All they had to do was goddamn shoot. The the ball, the ball was right there. It was as easy as a layup. You know what I mean? So like, I just want y'all to be mindful, of, man. What y'all doing with this energy and who y'all attracting to y'all life and shit? Um, you will take on the woman karma that's already on her. This this goes back to the Adam and Eve days. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, kings only only uh fuck with queens, man. You become a natural king that crown yourself on this goddamn journey, bro. You get respected like a king. You get treated like a king. Motherfuckers pamper you like a king. They they look out for you like a king. You know what I'm saying? And women want to really serve you and adore you. Men admire you and respect you. I was just in the gym lifting some heavy ass weight. Some weight I ain't even know I could do on the bench press. I said, man, stop bullshitting. Let's, let's just start lifting some heavy weight. I started lifting some heavy weight. I had this one dude that uh on my uh when I was on my last uh, long streak came in uh. I forgot his name, but big ass dude, big black dude, right? And he was behind me. He was on the incline. I was on the flat bench, and I was lifting this heavy ass weight. And I don't look big. I look ripped and cut up. I look slim. You know what I'm saying? I probably weigh like 158, 156 around that. You know what I mean? And um, the weight that I was doing, it was twice. 
Uh, I, I forgot. I forgot what my way. I forgot. Uh, oh shit! But basically, I say that to say this: like, man, don't limit yourself, bro. You can go hard, man. You can go hard. And I had the whole gym. Well, I had motherfuckers looking at me like, "How is he doing this heavy ass weight?" I'm like, "Nigga, retention, retention, bro." Another thing that I'm doing, like my rules that I'm, I'm implementing. Like as far as monk mode is avoiding all women. Not talking to no no women, no no women interaction because they distractions. Especially now, because I gotta stay focused. Cause, cause some stuff happening in my life that I gotta stay focused on. As far as taking care of myself, being self sufficient, independent, and and you know fo focusing on taking care of my son. Um, so that's one rule: avoiding women, um, staying away from corn. Even though I've been doing that. Uh, not touching my, not touching my uh penis other than going to the bathroom to use it. Um, another one is uh limiting my cell phone usage. Um, another thing is praying more, getting closer to God and closer to the Word. Uh, drinking gallons of water a day. Um, and not putting a limit on myself when I'm in the gym. Read more, read more books. Save a lot more money. Um, just being more responsible and taking accountability and, and, and focusing on what I can control and not stressing off what I can't control and knowing and, and, and knowing the wisdom and knowing what's uh, knowing how to discern between the two, the things that I can't control and the things I can't control. The things I can't control, don't even worry about it. The things I can't control, just focus on that and just stick to the script and stay consistent with building a foundation that's strong as fuck. That's sturdy, you know what I mean? Shout out New York. Shout out to all my supporters that's from New York, cause that's like my biggest fan base right there is New York. So I, 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 my, my, um, my guess is that New York is very woke, very consciously woke. It's not a surprise. It's not a. That's not a surprise. In fact, it's. But yeah, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to you if you cultivate your energy, keep on doing it, man. Keep your power. Keep God first, man. Kings recognize queens, so you know what I'm saying. Know the difference between you dealing with a queen and dealing with a woman that don't mean a thing. I love you all. Peace.